What's going on guys? Guns are back again on another MLB The Show 18 Demonest video today. We have our roster predictions for the Attribute Roster Update coming out this Friday. Um, of course, as always, if you guys have been enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave two likes, and make sure to hit that sub button. Most importantly, stick around for the grind, but uh, we have a big episode today, a lot of potential new diamonds, so let's get right into it, starting off with our offensive five players, and we are going to start out with no other team but everybody's favorite, the New York Yankees, and uh, first we are going to look at uh, Miguel Andujar. In his last 14 games, against FTC, he's hitting 409 with the 591 slug, no home runs, four extra base hits against righty, hitting 340 with an 886 slugging percentage, six home runs, eight total extra base hits, two walks to nine strikeouts, and he's hitting 379 with an 862 slug over his last 29 plate appearances. Now, I think his power versus righties is definitely going to get a boost, and also his contact, especially versus lefties. So those are really the two key statistics we're going to look at. I think it's going to be enough for him to get to like a 77 78 overall i really don't see gold for uh, miguel and Duhar this year just because his fielding stats are really not too good and his speed is also not the best so i do think you'll get like a 77 78 but he'd have to really really start hitting insane numbers for him to go gold this year next up a guy who got upgraded to gold last time is matt chapman but hell he deserves another upgrade uh and i think you'll agree with me after hearing these stats in his last 30 games against lefties hitting 409 with a 659 slug two home runs six extra base hits against right he's hitting 317 767 slug uh five home runs 15 total extra base hits 11 walks to 24 strikeouts so I think the vision and discipline is probably going to be fine where it is, but the 659 and 767 slug, I think is going to be uh, up on both sides, especially versus lefties. I think probably it's going to be somewhere around 75 power versus right, 62, 63 versus lefties, and the contact could definitely get a little bit of a boost, 317 and 409 as well. I'll say like an 81, 82 overall for Matt Chapman, nothing huge, but... It, it, it's gonna be hard because he is uh, he is a young player for him to try to get diamond But he does have the speed and defense so it would not be terribly hard for him to do But I think the vision also would have to go up and especially his clutch as well um, A lot of guys already have those stats unfortunately he does not so it's gonna be a little bit harder for him to get diamond Next up you guys already know you guys already know. Ronald Acuna Jr. Uh, in his last 14 games against FC, he's hitting 313, 875 slug, three home runs to no, uh, three home runs and three total extra base hits. Against righties, 410, 872 slug, five home runs, eight extra to, uh, eight total extra base hits, uh, six walks to 12 strikeouts. You guys already know, across the board, he's gonna get upgrades. I, I could see gold. I definitely could see gold on Acuna. Um, I, I don't know if it'll happen. I'll say like a 79 to an 80 overall for Acuna. Especially for this one, let me know down below in the comments because I'm really on the fence. He definitely could go gold, but he definitely could just stay at a 79. But nonetheless, he definitely, definitely is deserving of an upgrade. Next, moving on to the desert, we got uh, David Peralta for the Diamondbacks. Um, in his last 30 games against left, he's hitting 385 with the 538 slug, one home run, two total extra base hits, righties 323, 677 slug, six home runs, 10 total extra base hits, eight walks to 15 strikeouts. Now the contact righties is probably going to stay the same, but the power and contact versus lefties, I think will definitely get a little bit of a boost. And I think that along with maybe a little bit more power right is going to be enough for him to get gold. Once again, kind of on the fence about him, but I'm more confident with uh, a guy like him going gold rather than Acuna just because he only has to go two overalls while Acuna has to go four. But David Peralta, I would definitely suggest investing in him. And then finally, moving over to LA, we got Cody Bellinger. And I think he will get his gold status back this week. In his last 14 games against lefties, hitting 316. And uh, primarily, we're going to focus on righties. He's hitting 583 with an 875 slug, two home runs, three total extra base hits, six walks to eight strikeouts. Now, I think he's going to get a big boost on the contact versus righties. He might get like a plus five power versus righties as well. But uh, I, I think it's definitely going to be enough for him to uh, get gold. He's probably going to be like an 82 to 83 overall or something like that. I see a pretty big boost for Cody Ballinger. Now, moving on to our pitching five players that we have. And... Uh, uh, well, once again, we're moving over to everybody's favorite team, the New York Yankees. We're going to start with J.A. Happ. He's got a 2.15 ERA, a uh, 
Uh, 184 OBA opponent batting average, 0.89 whip, 32 strikeouts to seven walks and 29 and a third innings pitch. Now I think the hits is definitely going to go up. 184 uh, OBA is really good, so I can see that going up around like a 75, 76. Um, even the walks as well. The walks and K could move a couple points as well, maybe like three aside. Again, I'm on the fence. He definitely could go gold, but I'm going to be conservative with this one, and I'm going to say a 79 overall. Moving over to Cleveland, to Believe Land, we have a new diamond. Uh, well, actually, he was diamond before Carlos Carrasco. I think... Uh, I think with this resume, the fact that he already was diamond, it's going to make this an easier jump for him to get back into the blue status. He has a 133 ERA, two, uh, 213 OBA, 0.91 whip, 49 strikeouts to five walks, and his last 40 and two thirds innings pitch. So once again, the hit and K9 will both get pretty big upgrades, probably like a 76 hit nine and like an 80 K9. Maybe even the walk nine moves a little bit as well, but I think he will be getting up to an 85 overall. Back to his diamond status in this next roster update the Cleveland Indians of course are really really hot right now um, but once again the AL is really really stacked so uh, moving on to Washington though we got a uh, Tanner Roark right here 177 ERA 214 OBA 0 0.93 whip 28 strikeouts to five walks in his last 35 and two-thirds inning pitched once again the hit nine is gonna really get a boost um, and the K9 as well he has 28 strikeouts and in 35 innings that probably doesn't need to move but I could definitely see his walk nine going up to like a 70 overall or to, you know a 70 stat but I do not see gold I'll say like a 78 overall for Tanner Roark if he starts striking up more guys I definitely could see uh, see him going gold but he's gonna have to start striking out uh, guys uh, a lot more frequently if he wants to get that gold status moving over to Philadelphia we got Aaron Nola I think this is the first time I actually put him on my roster predictions because I'm not one of those people that just blindly follow and yeah uh -oh. but anyway I think Aaron Nola I think he finally has a good chance especially because uh, Andrelton Simmons got the jump to diamond last week. And personally, I, I really wasn't expecting it. So I, I think maybe, uh, especially with a lot of people, they're kind of like saying Aaron Nola should, and they're really in MLB's uh, mentions about it. I think that might help him get the jump actually. But uh, 197 ERA, 198 OBA, uh, one even whip, 29 strikeouts to nine walks in 32 innings pitched. Now I don't, I don't know if he necessarily deserves uh, Diamond at this point, just because nine walks and 32 innings pitched and only 29 strikeouts. I can't really see those moving. They might move his, they, they could move his hit nine. His hit nine could get a boost at 198, but I, I don't know if it's gonna be large enough for him to go Diamond. Once again, he absolutely deserves it. It, it. He's a weird pitcher where he's one of the best in the game, but yet his stats kind of reflect how he is in real life. So unless they move like his control, his velo or his break as well, I just can't see it because his strikeout and walk ratio right now as of late has just not been good enough. Although I do think he deserves a hit nine upgrade. So I'll say like an 84 overall, but he definitely could go diamond. We'll have to just wait and see. But moving on to Colorado, we actually got a starting pitcher. That's actually pretty rare. I was thinking about John Gray, but I decided to go with uh, Herman Marquez. 2.6 array, 206 OVA, 0.98 whip, 30, uh, 39 strikeouts, 8 walks in his last 34 and 2 thirds in pitch. Of course, 206 OVA, the hit 9 at 55 is really, really low. Probably going to go up to like a 65, 68, 69. That's pretty nice if you ask me. But uh, I think he's going to get like a 76 overall after this roster update. Um, definitely uh his hit nine has a lot of room to grow so i can see them upgrading that quite a bit and then moving on to our downgrade five of course lastly we're starting with my raise we got kevin kiermeyer in his last 14 games against lefties 0 0.80 uh, or oh my god uh he's hitting 0 0.83 um no extra base hits or anything 156 versus righties 188 slug zero walks to nine strikeouts his hitting stats are already really minuscule, but I think they will be going down just even a bit more. I absolutely do not think he will go silver. I think he'll stay at gold because of his defense and speed. But I'll say like an 80 overall for Kevin Kiermaier after it's all said and done, because why not nerf the Rays <laughs> even a little bit more, which is crazy because they're actually over 500 somehow, but it's kind of wild to me. But moving on to Chicago, we got Yon Moncada, the major league leader in strikeouts in his last 30 games, 133, uh, Against lefties, 167 slug. Against righties, 157, 300 slug. 14 walks to 44 strikeouts. 
Um, I think his power versus right, he only has a 300 slug. That's going to go down from a 71. As well, contact both sides are probably going to be going down. Which sucks because I really do like Yomon Kata and I really hope he has a good future in the MLB. But right now, I do think he will be going bronze in the roster update. Uh, and his teammate, Aviso Garcia, who I once thought was going to be going gold, has really been struggling in his last 14, hitting 143, 286 slug versus lefties, 059 versus righties, 147 slug, four walks to 16 strikeouts. Contact lefties definitely going to go down. His power uh, might get touched, but the the contact righties and lefties, I think, will definitely move down. Well, I'll say like a 77 for Aviso Garcia, which is tough because, like I said, at one point, I did think he was going to go diamond, but obviously now I really just do not see it. Moving on to the Nationals, we got Gio Gonzalez, 7.03 ERA, 315 OBA, 1.84 whip, 24 strikeouts to 19 walks in his last 32 innings pitched. Of course, the walk nine is going to go down quite a bit, as well as the hit nine, the K9, and I'll probably stay there, but a 75-76 overall for Gio. Gonzalez not really much else to be said right there and then finally moving on to st. Louis who I put on my last time on my roster predictions he did not move down but I think they I, I think he deserves it to be honest in his last 30 258 uh, hitting against lefties 387 slug against righties 184 batting 447 slug five home runs 10 uh, 10 total extra base hits eight walks to 25 strikeouts now against I think his contact is really what's gonna move he could probably get away with his power numbers not moving or maybe just getting touched a little bit but I definitely think his contact will be going down which sucks because I absolutely love this card but he does this over downgrade. I'll say like a 76 new overall for Paul Dejong. But uh, that is going to do it for my roster predictions for this week on the August 24th, I do believe. Um, if you guys have your own thoughts and opinions, who's going up, who's going down, who's staying the same, who are you guys investing in, make sure to let me know down below in the comments. Everybody eats, everybody just wants to make stubs because as I said in my last video, if you have not watched it, make sure to check it. Uh, make sure to check it. I am really nearing close to Vladimir Guerrero, so very, very excited about that. But if you uh, but if if you guys enjoyed the video, hope you guys have a great day. Make sure to leave a like down below. Oh my god, I'm so twisted. Uh, ha have a good day. Yee. Love is love and hate is hate. To die is an awesome adventure and I can hardly wait. Earth is a prison, I need a great escape. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space. You know I'm in my zone. You know I'm in my zone. I took a bite of the glory, I tell you.